Israel struck dozens of Hezbollah targets as the ground operation appeared imminent. The country has shuttled reservists and tanks to the Lebanese border and US officials say small border movements may have already begun. The escalation comes after the Iran-backed group confirmed leader Hassan Nasrallah was killed by an airstrike. The US military has said it was increasing its air support capabilities in the Middle East and putting troops on a heightened readiness to deploy to the region as it warned Iran against expanding the ongoing conflict. Catastrophic floods and landslides in Nepal have killed scores of people with dozens more missing. The rainfall in the area around Kathmandu was the highest on record in more than 50 years. Austria's far-right Freedom Party has won its first national election as per exit polls. The party, which will need to form a coalition to govern, is riding a wave of public anger over what voters perceive as the country's mismanagement and soaring cost of living. A member of parliament in the UK, Rosie Duffield, has quit the governing Labour Party, unleashing a deeply personal attack on Prime Minister Keir Starmer and slamming the staggering revelations of hypocrisy under his leadership. In fact, he's, she's criticised Starmer for inexplicably accepting expensive gifts of designer suits and glasses, while at the same time slashing winter fuel payments. Investors are increasingly confident that China's lacklustre economy may be recovering after key indexes saw some of their biggest weekly gains in years last week. Markets were buoyed by Beijing's multi-point stimulus package, which included billions in spending and easing measures, although no, not all its details have been clarified. And analysts are warning of economic turbulence ahead of Japan's new Prime Minister swearing in on the 1st of October. The country's stock market may experience a very ugly Monday as for some traders as investors come to terms with Shigeru Ishiba.